So now we have the um, cured earrings, and those look good. I'm going to let them cool just a little bit and clean up the edges a little bit. But in the meantime, here's going to be my earring back. Um, and I rolled it through on a, on a tree. And I'm going to put the earring on the back so that it's on top of, um, and so that gives that a little bit of three-dimensionality. And I'm going to texture it with 60 grit sandpaper. And I'm doing the whole piece. And that might not be big enough. I thought that was going to be perfect. So we'll just have to do it by eye. So see the, the edges are a little bit rough. This sticks out a little bit. That's because I have it upside down. Um, but actually I think those aren't, those aren't bad. So I'm going to put a little bit of liquid clay on the back so that it'll stick to the raw clay. Don't need a lot, just a little bit. I'm going to set it down right on the textured clay and just press a little bit. Same thing with this side. A little bit of liquid clay. And liquid clay, at least I'm using Kato, sh um, cures shiny, and I don't want a shiny on this side, so I've got to really make sure that I don't get any of that on the front side of the earring. So always wiping your fingers really good and making sure your tools are clean. Okay, so we've got those. Those look good. Then I'm going to use my straight blade. It's, it's rigid, that's what I mean by straight blade. All of them are straight, but I want a rigid one so that I make sure that I get a really straight edge. And I'm pretty much just going to eyeball it. Sometimes I just come in and sort of poke the corner so it's not quite so sharp. And then at the top, I'm going to go ahead and trim. But I'm going to save these two little pieces so that um, I can make the um, loop for the earring wire to go through. So let me do this. And I'm going to go ahead and put these on. The only problem with pulling raw clay off when it's adhered to solid clay. Probably should have just gone straight under. But you can always manipulate it. 
the corners and get this straight on here. Make sure that edge is straight. And I can always come back and straighten these edges with a little bit of sanding paper after they're cured. So that looks pretty good. Set those down. That looks pretty good. I do want to make sure that the top is exactly where I want it to be because that's where I'm putting the hook for the wire. And I'm going to make two in case I mess the first one up. And these little ferrules you need to keep empty, otherwise it starts pushing the distorting the clay as you push down on it. And you always want to clean a clean hole. There's one. And I could just cut that in half, but I'm going to need a little bit more of the hole. So I am doing two of them. And then I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and trim off the thinner edge. It's another thing I can never get those holes in there exactly centered. And then I'm going to turn this around and attach it. That's the only hard thing about working with raw polymer clay is it is very sticky. So that's why a lot of people use um, um, acupuncture needle to pick up and place these things. And I didn't want that little bit. There we go. That'll work. And those both look even, right? They look centered. Oop, this one needs to come over a little bit. That's good. Push in a little bit just to make sure that they are adhered to the clay. And I think that's going to work. Okay, let's go back and see. We can cure these and see what that looks like. And here's the final product. I probably might sand or shape up a little bit, but I am pretty pleased with these pairs of earrings.